Athena wanted you to have this, so here it is. Good news, travel fast. We are Celeste Bono and Walla La Perju, and we're bringing you positive news from all over the world. Before we start, make sure you share your own good news in the Q&A below if you're on Spotify, and they might get featured on a future episode. Happy Thursday. I will try. <laughs> Happy How Thursday, Celeste. I am feeling great. Feeling. You are? How am I feeling? Yes, I'm feeling very zen, very monastery zen in a Why? Piece. I don't know. I think it's because my fan is blowing on my face, so it just makes me feel oh, like I love okay. it. Oh, yeah. okay. Right. Is it, is it warm where you are? Yeah, it's warm, so the fan helps to counter, so it's like warm and cool, so it's awesome. It's just temperate. Because it's kind of cold here. Oh. Of course, we're in different sweater? parts of the world. Obviously, yeah. Yeah. So, do you have condors in Nigeria? Uh, not that I know of. We have other flying objects, but not condors. I don't think we have condors. Okay. All right. Well, they're yeah. really pretty. So, they're coming back yeah. to California after over a century of not flying over the redwood forests along the state's northern coast. That's Why great. were they gone? Sit mm. tight. You'll be shocked. As a result of poaching habitat destruction and lead poisoning from eating animals that have been shot down with bullets, California hunters were close to becoming extinct. Mm. Yeah, how could we ever guess it? Luckily, in the early 1980s, the few of them remaining were captured for a breeding program that has since successfully reintroduced the animals to Southern California. Nice. On May, two male condors were released from a pen in Redwood National Park into their natural habitat for good. The Europe good. tribe has spearheaded efforts to reintroduce the California condor to the northern part of its, uh, of its range. In 2021, mm -hmm. the tribe announced a new condor release facility with the goal of reintroducing the birds to Europe Ancestral Territory and Redwood National Park. Nice. The Uruk tribe considers the condor sacred, and the construction of the facility was the result of years of work on its part. There are now more than 500 condors, both in the wild and in captivity. They uh, now live along California's central coast in Arizona, and in Arizona, hmm, Utah, and Baja California, Mexico. If you mm. want to feel like a little human being in front of the immensity of nature, head to the Uruk Tribe Facebook page to watch the emotional video of the two condors emerging from the pen and launching themselves into flight. I actually wow. watched this with my mom the other day and she was crying by the end of the video. Wow. Yeah, it's very, very emotional. It's wow. it's lovely. Mm -hmm. Wow. Meanwhile yeah, you feel... in Bristol. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh. Never mind. No, no, no. I was going to say that you don't feel... <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I mean, you feel tiny. Yes, you do. You feel tiny. You feel... T wow. Wow, mm -hmm. I'm quite large, so I'm surprised I would feel tiny. Wow, I'm interested yeah. now. Yeah. Meanwhile, in Bristol, a groundbreaking medical trial might bring mm -hmm. enormous hope for everyone with Parkinson's disease. Oh. Currently, there's no cure for Parkinson's disease, which leads to parts of mm -hmm. the brain becoming progressively damaged over years. Symptoms include involuntary shaking of parts of the body, limbs mostly, slow movement and stiff slash inflexible muscles however south mead hospital surgeons have created a tiny deep brain stimulation device to override the abnormal brain cell firing patterns caused by parkinson's the surgery mm -hmm. just takes three hours which is half of what other procedures to alleviate parkinson's symptoms used to take wow. the first patient to have the operation says the procedure has helped him uh, to no end he can now drive, play golf, tie his shoelaces, wow. and just overall do things a lot quicker. 25 patients are already selected for the trial that concludes next year. I saw this, I think, on TikTok, and it was amazing. I was so happy. Oh, um, you did? You watched it? Yeah. Yeah. Have you have you seen the movie Love and Other Drugs? Yes, I have. Yes, Ugh. yes, yes. Where mm. Annie, what's, what's her name? Annie Hathaway, yes, was yes, a Parkinson's disease yeah she was a parkinson's disease uh, uh victim or yeah. i don't know yeah patient. what's the word yeah patients yeah i was i wasn't sure if it was victim or patient well, i, I guess, was like wow yeah. victim wow okay yeah yeah yeah, maybe yeah. He, so, yeah it was very emotional cut that part. 
Okay, so are you tipping your local delivery person correctly, Wallow? You will think twice mm. after hearing this story. Okay. It was just a regular Friday night for Karen Herbert Sullivan when she placed an order for a pizza through Jordash. Mm -hmm. Sophia Furtado was assigned with this delivery. When she got to Karen's place, though, she found her lying on the ground. Her head was bleeding. Wow. Karen, who had a um, who had an arm surgery and a bad knee, was waiting outside when both her knee and arm gave out, making her fall to the um, to the ground and hit her head on the way down. Amazingly enough, Furtado had previous medical knowledge for her training as an emergency medical te technician. She called yeah. Karen's husband, who was inside the house. She told him to get some supplies and dial 911. Furtado rendered aid and kept Karen stable until help arrived. Karen was admitted to the hospital where she stayed for three weeks after suffering two severe brain bleeds. When she Whoa. came back home, she couldn't drive or write and she could barely walk. Towards the end of March, she was deemed fully recovered, but it's still uh, working on some things after losing 60% of her hearing. Wow. Meanwhile, Furtado was recognized with a $1,000 educational grant from DoorDash and a nice. life-saving award from the local police department. Nice. She said she will use the money to continue emergency medical technician school. As for Karen and Furtado themselves, they have become really close. She is nice. my guardian angel, said Karen. If it wasn't Aww. for her, I'd be dead. Is there a tip wow. in the world that can cover that kind of service? I don't think so. Mm, I don't think That's so. That's amazing. That's amazing. Good for Sophie. It's even the tip of an iceberg. Can't. Sorry, sorry. sorry. All right. Okay, sorry. Dad. That's sorry. all for Thursday. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. And thank God it's Friday. Yeah. yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this episode. There will be more great news tomorrow. Good News Trouble Fast is a news podcast serving positivity and laughter in daily doses. Oh, but we don't have episodes on the weekends. We actually have to sleep. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about new episodes. And if you like the show, make sure you rate us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you listen to podcasts. This podcast was produced by Matias Rosenberg, creative direction by Josefina Cordova, and hosted by Walla Lapaju and Celeste Bono. That's me. This show is supported by Athena. Hire, manage, and retain world-class global talent at athena.io. A brilliant startup like yours needs the best of the best on your team. Are you taking advantage of global talent? Level up your team for more success for only 33% of your usual hiring costs. Go to athena.io right now to learn more. That's A-T-H-Y-M-A dot I-O.